We know that there are a set of principles called multimedia principles which provide guidelines to integrate multimedia in e-learning content effectively. While literature points to several multimedia principles, in this LED we will be discussing about the modality and redundancy principle. Before proceeding further, here is a reflection spot. Consider the following two scenarios where the teacher is teaching about the water cycle. One teacher uses an image with an on screen text without any audio. The other teacher uses image and narration without on screen text. Which of the two scenarios do you think will be easily processed by the students? Some of you may have felt that image and on screen text would be sufficient for learners. Others may have thought that audio narration is more useful than on screen text. Let us see what the modality principle tells us. Modality principle recommends the use of audio to explain visuals instead of on screen text. From the cognitive theory we know that if both text and pictures are to be understood then there is an overload of the visual channel. While when narration is used along with an image there is a balance in processing across the visual and the auditory channel. This prevents the visual channel from being overloaded. At this point let us see some of the situations where modality principle is recommended. Consider the following example in which a teacher is describing the function of a herd and its different parts. In the first case the functioning is explained as a text while in the second case it is explained along with an audio narration without a text. Student will be able to easily process the content when there is an audio narration explaining the functioning of the herd as compared to reading a description about it. From this example we see that it is desirable to follow the modality principle while explaining graphics. Another instance where following modality principle is recommended is when we are explaining a complex material which includes both text and images. In such case attention will be divided between text and images because both use same modality of vision. Using narrative however divides the load between audio and vision channel which is recommended. Till now we have seen different scenarios where it is recommended to use audio with image instead of on screen text. At this point let us pause at a reflection spot. Can you think of situations where you need to use on screen text to support graphics instead of an audio? You may have thought of situations like what if audio is not available or this scenario where there are no speakers. In such cases following modality principle will not be possible. Yet another scenario could be audience who are non native speaker and find difficulty in processing the spoken words. And also there could be people in the audience who may have hearing impairment. In all such scenarios use of on screen text is recommended. At this point let us now look at another principle which is the redundancy principle. The redundancy principle recommends explaining visuals with narrated audio or on screen text but not both. Correlating with the example which we saw earlier while explaining the concept of water cycle. Suppose if teacher A explains the concepts using animation, narration and on screen text while teacher B explains the concept with animation and narration without on screen text. According to the redundancy principle use of animation and narration is recommended. There is a common belief that use of a spoken words and printed forms during presentation is better for learners. And learner can choose their format depending upon their learning preference. As an e-content designer you may think that why not use both text and narration. A potential problem with adding a redundant on screen text could be that learner may experience cognitive overload in their visual channel. During a fast paced multimedia presentation which has redundant on screen text. Another possible problem which may arise is that learner may try to compare the different formats. 
At this point, let us summarize what we have learned till now. Modality principle recommends that if you have a choice between on screen text and audio, use audio. The redundancy principle recommends explaining the visuals with narrated audio or, or screen text, but not both. Thank you.